if I told you I made a two-way that wasn't just a two-way, but a four-way GOAT. A build that could dribble the score. A build that could shoot from anywhere. A build that could dunk from anywhere. A build that could defend anyone or anything. A build that got 80 plus attributes in all shooting, driving, playmaking, and defensive attributes. A build that 2K couldn't even give a build name because it was that over how. Well, I found it. This is the Double H build, the four-way GOAT. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H D F, and I am back at it with yet another banger. In today's video, I have a banger build video. So sit tight, and before you skip around in the video, I have to show you guys something right now. So make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, 1 million subs on the way, and drop a like if this is, you know, helpful at all. But look, my build is so good in this game that I broke the build system. 2K themselves cannot even give me a build name because my build is so elite at every single level, okay? So basically what I want you guys to do is just call this the Double H build, okay? This is just going to be the Double H build from now on, okay? So if you look at my 2K card, right? Wait, hold on. Let me change the camera angle. It says a two-way slashing player. By the way, season five just dropped. Your boy's already level 22. We have been grinding. But yeah, it says I'm a two-way slashing playmaker. And when I show you guys how to make the build, yes, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this build. I'm gonna show you guys, guys gameplay on this build. My bad is on this build, my animations, all that good stuff, okay, in this video. But look, it says two-way slashing playmaker, right? And when I make my build, it's a two-way slashing playmaker at that, you know, screen as well. But look at this. When I go to my 2K card, and I found this out from someone playing with me on the build, they were like, why does it sit on your 2K card? So this shows for other people too. If you go to my 2K card, it says, two-way facilitating finisher. <laughs> Bro, 2K cannot decide. They don't know what to call this build. They cannot make up their minds. So we're just gonna call it the Double H build, okay? Now this build is absolutely insane. We're gonna start the video off by showing you the 99 overall stats and just how crazy this build is, okay? And after this, I'll show you guys gameplay, how to make the build, the badges, all that stuff. But a quick shout out to my boy Quentin who commented in the last video loyal because he watched the whole video through and was Notiang. So if you guys are, if you guys watch the whole video through in this video and you guys are a part of Notiang, if you're not a part of Notiang, subscribe to the channel, hit that Noti bell, go ahead and comment Noti gang in the comment section and you might be featured in the next video but look at this build okay this is the stats at 99 nine let's let's just start with the physicals okay so usually i get a 99 speed so we're gonna go a little lower on the speed but we still have a high vertical high stamina 99 stamina 80 vertical 51 strength 94 excel 94 speed and yes this build is still very fast 94 speed is still very good enough driving stats this is just as as good as it gets on a guard build okay 95 close shot 95 driving lab 88 dunk and 88 dunk is huge we get the jordan dunk package where you could jump from the free throw line with this build okay and then we go to the shooting 83 pointer that is the highest three pointer i have at any of my builds y'all know i'm used to a 68 three pointer with my 83 pointer i can shoot everything and you're gonna see in the gameplay you know how play shots shoot whites and like it gives them that kind of like green animation, but it's not green. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you play 2K. I get those animations on this build because the three-pointer is that good. 81 mid-range, automatic. So, you know, we got 80 plus stats in driving and shooting, right? So there's got to be something that's low, right? Nope. Ball handling, 8 to 3. We get every single drill move in the entire game except for that D-row size up, which we wouldn't get anyways with the height on this build. Defense, 86 steal. 82 perimeter defense, 79 lateral quickness, 59 block, 71 defense rebound with lock take and max wingspan. What is this build bad at? It's elite at defense, and when I have lock takeover, I'm gonna have plus 10, plus 15 to all those stats on defense. It's elite at ball handling. It's elite at shooting. It's elite at driving. There's nothing this build is bad at, and I cannot wait to show you guys the gameplay in this video. Anyways, here is the bad setup as well. The bad setup is very spread out. 15, 16, 15, and 10. I'm going to show you guys what bad is I'm rocking with in this video. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay as well. 
all that good stuff okay so we're gonna go ahead look at the gameplay first once again subscribe to the channel drop a like i am breaking the game with this build i'm telling you right now this is the best build in the game this is the best build they can't even give me a build name y'all it's the double age build okay let's go on and watch some gameplay right quick okay y'all so here is some gameplay from my twitch stream now if you guys want to watch me play live make sure to go follow my twitch the link will be at the top of the description my twitch is just double h all one word okay i'm literally verified on there go follow why not okay if you don't have twitch download it but look we're gonna look at some clips of me shooting the ball dribbling the ball uh finishing and playing defense with this build um and yeah this build can really do everything and if you think that i don't know what i'm talking about with builds bro here's my record on the screen i have a 93 win percent on 2k over 2000 wins i have about 400 500 stage games played uh, i'm gonna start playing a lot more stage two especially since i'm already legend uh and most of the grind is already done but look at this build the thing I like about this build the most is it's basically like my two-way playmaker, but it has an 83 pointer. You know what I mean? So I can hunt for threes like this. Like, look at some of the threes I'm getting off with blinders. People don't know how to guard me. They're expecting the drive, the shot. They really have to guard everything. And notice when I'm getting open, like my dribble moves. Like I have an 83 ball handle. Look at what was that? That was like a that was a yellow, and I green that. But yeah, I have an 83 ball handle, and I'm still getting wide open. I don't have that Derrick Rose speed boost, but look at I'm moving on this build. Six five. And a quarter max wingspan height build and look at me bro no one can mess with me i mean look at bro i'm telling y'all bro th this build is crazy lock takeover where is that dude going oh my god this build can shoot very consistently yes it gets white animations it can make whites it can shoot from very deep it can fade it can shoot off the dribble it can stop and pop it can quick stop it can do what you need it to do to shoot the ball from anywhere on the courts okay now you're gonna see these clips right i mean this is consistent okay this is literally one twitch stream all these clips are from one twitch stream. i want to be showing 1v1 core gameplay 2v2 core gameplay it's the 1v1 core gameplay is from one stream the 2v2 core gameplay is from another stream so basically two streams of gameplay i've only had the build maxed out for a couple days and i already know it's a demigod i mean y'all know i don't make i don't like to make build videos until my build is at 99 overall because i don't know if it's a good build i'm not gonna promote a build to y'all unless i know it's a demigod two days in having this build at 99 this is the best build i have okay now if you want to stick with the two by player you can go ahead and do that but this is the best overall iso build in the game i'm trying to tell y'all okay you can see i'm going crazy nobody can guard me i'm shooting the three consistently there'll be games where i'll attempt seven eight three pointers because i don't need to go take a dunk if they're not guarding my three and i'm getting open look at 21 game wins you're in the stage now we're on the 1v1 court lock take goes crazy on this court by the way oh my god when i have lock takeover i feel unstoppable unguardable i don't know if y'all have had that feeling in 2k but it's a good feeling spin back on this post score green he cannot guard me bro look at lock take by the way oh my god now that's crazy now nah, but the deer and fox size up is absolutely insane on this build i get wide open very easily um and i don't even have gator if i buy a gator i could really over dribble on this build and hunt for threes like crazy but yeah there's a lot of you know what i mean I'm, I'm really just doing simple moves out here but i'm getting wide open and as you can notice 94 speed is definitely fast enough like i'm moving pretty fast for a 6-5 that doesn't even get hall of fame playmaking i'm getting wide open threes consistently like look at this people are jumping at me with their play shots that's not gonna be enough bro i'm getting too open it's like it's like i'm a play shot when i'm on this build it just feels so easy to shoot right and look at another win streak 15 game win streak on the once now we're gonna be looking at some driving clips and by the way this is just proven like this is gameplay on this build a two-way slashing playmaker okay for both the ones and the twos gameplay i'm showing um on the 2k card once again it shows two-way facilitated finisher i don't know why but yeah look at jordan dunk package yes i get an 88 driving dunk so i get that dunk package my dunks are completely unblockable i will be showing my dunk animations at the end of this video but oh my god this build can finish like crazy hall of fame finishing badges hall of fame post riser hall of fame limitless takeoff a 95 layup and an 88 dunk oh my god 
If you thought my two-way playmaker was good at finishing, I'm here to tell you this build is better at finishing. Okay, it is very easy for me to get to the hole. And even if I was clamped by like a play shot or like most small guard builds or whatever, I ain't gonna lie, I could just get in the paint and force something and it'll go in. Y'all know the interior defense is not good on this game. Look at me just, oh my, bro. I, I cannot tell you guys and express enough how much, how unstoppable this build is offensively. I mean, look at me, bro. <laughs> the driving is too easy on this build. Look at I'm shooting off the screens. I'm catching lobs from the three-point line. I got lock take. I'm finishing through contact. How is that wide open? You want to know why? Because I have Hall of Fame fast twitch and a bunch of Hall of Fame finishing badges. Lock take again. Oh, my God. That dunk package is crazy. <laughs> look at this. He, he thought I was shooting the three because I had shot a bunch of threes that game. Still a dunk. Look at this, bro. It is too easy. How are you going to guard this build on ISO? Please, someone tell me the Vince Carter dunk package, 360 dunks, free throw line dunks. Keep them coming, bro. It's crazy. Now, the defense is good, too. I can get rebounds over people. I can get steals over people. I can get. I can guard the paint. I can guard the perimeter. I can get very good shot contests on players, even if I get there late because I have max wingspan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a good build, bro. Look, you're, gonna, you're about to see more defense right here on a post score now. When I was playing this post score on the ones court, I was purposely giving him the ball. I was doing, I was joking around. And look at all the stops again. Look at a block right there. It's supposed to be the most overpowered build in the game, right? A post score. Easy contest right there. I'm getting the rebound. Right here, he's trying to bring it out. I steal it. He's trying to bring it out again. I'm about to steal it again. And he just loot. I don't know what he was doing, but he was scared, clearly. Look at that contest. A heavily on a post score forcing a layup on me. Another glass finisher, bro. I'm telling you, the defense on this build is absolutely crazy. And that's why I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this build. Because this build is an elite at driving, elite at shooting, elite at dribbling, and elite at defense. There is nothing this build can't do, okay? I'm going to just tell y'all right now. Look at me pulling the chair on the post score. Just going crazy. Clamping play shots for 24 seconds, making them airball. Okay, let's get into how to make the build though. Now, before we do that, make sure you go to your settings in your... um whatever in the main menus and change your system to metric system it's going to give you an extra half, quarter of an inch on this build um and yeah let's get into how to make the build okay y'all we are in the build creator and we are about to go crazy and make the new best build in nba 2k22 now when i tell you this is the best build i am actually being so serious like i cannot believe how much i broke this build off the rip you're gonna have to make a decision yourself okay point guard or shooting guard point guard you're gonna get you're gonna be able to get floor general and dimer shooting guard you're not gonna be able to get um floor general or dimer but shooting guard you can get rim protector point guard you cannot get rim protector so yeah you're gonna have to make a decision there which one do you want more i'd rather have rim protector so i'm gonna go ahead and go shooting guard plus the stats and badges are better on uh shooting guard um Hand this, doesn't matter. I prefer left, number one for Derrick Rose. Now here is the pie chart. Now you're probably thinking, oh, double H but another two way. It's just gonna be the same pie chart. No, in fact, we're actually not gonna have yellow in the pie chart and we're not gonna have red in the pie chart. We are going to go with the more blue than green pie chart. Now you're probably thinking, oh, why would you do that? You only get Hall of Fame finishing and you don't get Hall of Fame shooting. You only get one Hall of Fame category. Well, if you do half green, half blue, you know, you could try to do that, but you're gonna get a less ball handle. You're gonna get only like a plus one or two three pointer, a way less driving dunk and worse defensive stats. So you may as well go with this right here, okay? It's about the same defense, actually, maybe a plus one, minus one, depending on what stats. But yeah, it has better playmaking, better driving, and playmaking is pretty important considering we don't have Hall of Fame category for that, and we need a high ball handle to get certain dribbles. So anyways, we're gonna go with this pie chart right here, more blue than green, and now it's the physical. We're gonna have to go with the speed, okay? We need as much speed as possible because we're not gonna get a 99 speed on this build like our two-way playmaker, so we need as much speed as we can get, right? So we're gonna go with the first one, which is the speed chart, and now we're going to get into the stats, okay? Now starting with the driving, the driving is going to be very good on this build, okay? We're gonna go ahead and max the close shot, max the driving layup, max the driving uh, dunk, and then we're gonna, actually, yeah, we don't even have to put the close shot down at all. As you see, even if we go down one attribute, we get 15 finishing. That's how you know we maximize, we maximize the finishing. So we're gonna go with 15 finishing badges right there. We get Hall of Fame into that category as well. 
Now with the shooting, we can max the mid-range, max the three-pointer, max the free throw. And even if we put the free throw down one, it goes down to 15. So we're going to take our 16 shooting. We're not even going to touch post phase. So 15 finishing, 16 shooting badges. That's a lot of shooting badges, especially for a build that only gets gold badges on the shooting. And then playmaking, we're going to max the pass accuracy, max the ball handle, max the posting control. That's 16 playmaking. Now, you actually, we actually do save a lot of attribute upgrades if we go to 15 playmaking, so that's what we're going to do because we need those extra defensive ratings. So we're going to go down, save all these attributes, and we're going to go down right here to 15 playmaking, literally saving almost the entirety of post control. So 15, 16, and 15 already. This build is looking very balanced, right? So now we're going to go ahead, max the perimeter defense, max the lateral quickness, max the steal, max the defensive rebound, and then upgrade the block as much as possible and that is going to give us seven defensive badges now as you guys know my build actually gets more than this i have plus three badges because i hit level 39 in three different seasons um so i'm actually gonna have 10 defense on my build that i have right now because i did plus three to defense now if you don't have those extra badges what i would recommend you to do is to probably just stick with this bad setup or if you want you can take a little off shooting or finishing and add it to your defense but in my opinion it's not worth it because i know we have 15 finishing but if you go down to like what 10 finishing let's say that's only 14 attribute upgrades what is that gonna it's not gonna do much right it's not even gonna give us a plus one but we took five badges off finishing so even if you take off a lot of finishing it's gonna go way down in badges fast and you're not gonna have a lot of upgrades to spread otherwise so even with seven defensive badges that is enough this build is still gonna be very dominant um and you're gonna see later in this build video why we're gonna move on to the body shape uh, we're gonna go with compact you can go with whatever you want now the height like i said we are in the metric system so we're gonna get an extra quarter of an inch on this build now 1.96 meters is actually what we're gonna go with that is a little over six foot five if you look up on google how tall is six five it's gonna say about 1.955 meters so yeah we're gonna be six foot five and a quarter of an inch which is great now you're probably thinking oh well i want the dare Rose speed boost size up and i want to get an 85 ball handle. Well, okay you would have to go pretty short you would have to go down to like six three almost basically and it just it's just not gonna be worth it okay so you may as well go six five and a quarter plus that deer and fox size up is out and that's just as good as the d rose size up and you could get that with this ball handle that we're about to have so we're gonna go with six five and a quarter we're gonna go minimum weight so we can get that 86 speed right there and then with the wingspan now this is you're gonna have some decisions as well i'm giving you all a lot of decisions throughout this build video once again, you could go point guard, shooting guard. You could mess around with the attributes for more defense. And another thing you could do is change the wingspan to your liking. Now, I went max wingspan, okay? And then it gave me these takeover options. And I went with lock takeover on my build. Because the badges and the ratings wise, defense was on the lower side, even though it was still really good. So I wanted my lock takeover to bump that up. So finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense was all at an elite level. Now, if you go down one, you still got those same options. Go down again. Still get those same options. You go down again. You get sharp takeover. So if you want to go three below max wingspan and get sharp takeover, you could go ahead and do that and make the build that way. Now, I went max wingspan because I want my defense to be good. Plus, my driving dunk goes up a lot. And if I even go down one on the wingspan, I will only get an 87 dunk at 99. And as you guys know, the free throw line, Jordan dunk package, those overpowered dunk package in the, package in the game you get at an 88 driving dunk, which you can only get with max wingspan on this build at 99 overall. The ball handle isn't affected too much even to go down. It doesn't even, it doesn't even do anything to the ball handle, actually. The defense goes up, the driving goes up, the playmaking stays the same, the shooting takes like a minus two hit. It's whatever. Y'all know I'm used to shooting on a 68 three-pointer. So at 79 plus the arm sleeve, 80 three-pointer at 99, I'm not missing at all. If you even leave me open, automatic green. Anyways, so max wingspan. You can go with any of these takeovers. Personally, I think playmaking takeover just doesn't break angles enough to be worth it. Slashing takeover I've had. I don't even get that many contact dunks. Shot creating takeover. Eh, it's not sharp. Lock takeover. I'm going with that. Makes your defense 10 times better when activated. And that is going to give us the two-way slashing playmaker. Yo, this build is so clickbait. It's like a catfish build. Like, imagine someone pulls up on you with a two-way slashing playmaker with lock take. You're automatically thinking that's a yellow-red. And then he comes out here shooting with an 83-pointer, an 88-dunk, 
playing elite defense and can do all the drill moves that is crazy absolutely crazy but anyways let's get into more of the details i showed you all some gameplay i showed you the 99 stats i showed you how to make the build now we're going to go over the badges of my that animations okay so like i said this bad sub is very spread out and i also get, got the plus three badges to my defense and once i hit a uh, level 39 in this season which is also going to give me an extra bad badge point to be honest y'all let me know in the comments which i should put on it i'm probably just going to put defense again so we can really balance out this build but anyways let's start with the finishing by the way just can we appreciate this badge spread like it is just so well rounded anyways finishing this is the only hall of fame category we have we are going to go with hall of fame posterizers so we can get those posterizing dunks yes we do get contact dunks in this build hall of fame littles take off very important with that jordan dunk package so you can jump as far as away from the basket and still get that dunk making it harder for people to double team you and even defend you okay hall of fame fast twitch is a good badge it basically just speeds up your layup and dunks so people have a hard time blocking you and then goal fearless finisher to finish it off yeah i tried you could try some other things like post spin and drop stepper if small play shots pull up on you and you get in a little clamp you get a, need a bailout bucket or bucket or something maybe if you like reverse dunks or layups acrobat maybe rise up you could try that you want to catch lobs maybe lava city finisher you could also go silver here and go bronze up unserviceable, which is probably what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna keep it like that because a lot of small guards will run a ball stripper and this kind of come you know combats that so it doesn't really happen so yeah i'm actually gonna go with that now that i think about it anyways shooting badges this is the most shooting badges I get on any build in the game I have right now. I'm used to about 10 shooting badges, and I shoot very good. Plus, this is the highest rating I have as well. So this is nice. This is an easy shooting build for me. Gold sniper so you can make more whites and greens. Gold stop and pop because we ISO on this build, and I quick stop, and this is just going to give me a boost to those shots. Gold chef. A lot of people say it doesn't work. It definitely works. This makes me shoot from way deeper when I'm dribbling around the court. Gold hot zone hunter. If you don't have hot zones, make sure you get them. You can get them in park or mic or whatever. Gold blinders. Basically, it's going to make it harder for people to contest me on the side. It's going to basically say open for me. So, yeah, when I'm ice one, it's just harder to guard my threes that way. And that way, you also have to step up on the three. And if you do, I can get an easy drive, right? Bronze green machine. You can either switch this to bronze lucky number seven, two, whatever you're feeling. I have it on bronze green machine right now. Now we are on to the playmaking. Now the playmaking, some of you might see a little questionable. Now I went with shooting guard, remember? So I do not get floor journal. I do not get diamond, but I do get rim protector. But if you went point guard, you could use, um, you know, floor journal diver. You're not going to get rim protector though. But yeah, we went with gold quick chain so I can dribble faster. Gold quick first step so I can get off the dribble faster, which is going to help me drive into the basket too. Gold handles for days so I don't get tired when I'm dribbling because I need energy when I need it, when I shoot the ball, right? When I get open. Gold height tight handles. This is very important too. You don't, you, if you don't want to use this, you don't have to, but I personally want this over a higher unpluckable or a higher bullet passer. But basically what this does is on certain escapes um, and size up packages that I use, it stuns the defender and freezes them. So I get a lot of open threes off this, a lot of open dunks off this um, because it really just freezes the uh, uh, defender. Bronze unpluckable. Really, when I put this on gold and I get stripped, it's just like, why do I have this? So you want it on at least bronze. You know, that's good enough. Silver bullet passes so I can make passes out to the corner. So people, so it makes it harder for people to double team me because a lot of people like double teaming me on the twos. Anyways, if you don't like tight handles, you don't want to freeze your defenders. Sure, gold, gold, unpluckable and you get gold bullet passer. Why not? But I want my gold tight handles, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, the defensive badges. I'm going to show a 7 badge setup and a 10 badge setup, just in case you have zero extra upgrades for this build. Now, obviously, I went with shooting guard because I was really high on a rim protector. That's why it's on gold. Yes, we get snatch blocks on this build. So, gold rim protector, which is also going to give you my takeover faster. And I have lockdown takeover. That would be very nice to have. Um, activated in a game. Then I have silver clamps is the perfect usage rate as a badge on silver. You don't really need it on gold or hall of fame. Silver works fine. Bronze chase down artist. As soon as you put it on bronze, you unlock chase down blocks. That's all I need. Bronze intimidator, bronze pickpocket. Both will help me get contests and uh, steal the ball a little more. Silver interceptor, the perfect usage rate as well. I, every time I click X at the right time, I get the steal with this build. Now, if you only have, if you only have seven, you're going to have to take three out of here. So I would take pickpocket off and i would take interceptor down the bronze and i would take clamps down the bronze now you could go silver rim protector and up clamps to silver but that's up to you but as long as you have chase down intimidator 
interceptor, clamps, and rim protector on some kind of level, then you should be good to go. Now that's my bad setup right there. We have a total of 56 badges, which is a lot of badges in this game. I'm not gonna lie, considering there really isn't any extra badges you can add. Another thing I'm gonna show is my animations. Now, if you guys want my jump shot, drop a like on the video, I'll give y'all my jump shot. If you guys want my drill moves, drop a like of the video i'll give you my dribble moves but for now i'll show you guys my other animations like my dunk packages and my dribble pull up so this is what we got so i got the trey young fade i got the penny hardaway spin jumper hop jumper stephen curry what else i got these are the dunk packages i got too you're gonna want to copy these because these dunk packages are unblockable and are also the fastest dunks long athletes with the best layup package michael jordan that's the free throw line dunk vince carter this is that little 360 dunk it never gets blocked scotty pippen probably one of the most unblockable dunk packages in the game and then we have a bunch of other ones like quick jump drop offs front clutches some baseline reverses straight arm tomahawks really you can add to these but these are the most unblockable ones other good ones are like cj mccallum clay thompson those are pretty good ones too i also have my contact dunks on as well some alley-oops i don't put park dunks on because i don't want to get blocked but yeah those are my dunk packages and my other stuff if you guys want my jump shot my drill moves just drop a like on the video once again y'all make sure to follow my twitch link in the description if you guys want to see some of my builds being played live drop a like on this video if this video helped you out at all jump shot and drill moves on the way y'all just gotta hit that like button simple as that subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i cannot wait to keep using this build bro this build is so fun to play on but anyways y'all it's been your boy henry aka double hdf y'all and i'm out man peace